Hello everyone, and welcome to Group C's response on the case analysis of Reed Supermarkets. Our team consists of John Foster, Lisa Harcutt, Ian Moy, James Anufrak, Kelly and Rooney, myself, Samantha Segura, and David Rosen. Lisa, Jamie, and I will be discussing our overall thoughts and ideas with you regarding the analysis and Reed's suggested next steps. First, we'd like to go through our overall thoughts on the analysis. Groupie described a market growth three-point plan called Redefined, which included increasing the premium private label brand, reconfiguring the store, and changing the market strategy while focusing on convenience and quality. We agree that those three points of the plan should be implemented for Reed. However, we have some differing thoughts on how to approach them. We also agree that Reed should keep a focus on quality. However, we believe customer service should remain at the forefront instead of convenience. Reed's is known for their exceptional and attentive customer service representatives, or as we like to call them, Reed's reps, and believe that this should remain an important aspect of the supermarket's image. Furthermore, Group B suggested that the dollar specials should be eliminated. We believe that the dollar specials can be revamped instead of eliminated to our new program called Reed's Midweek Markdowns. This program includes discounts during the week and a price match guarantee in order to appeal to those fill-in shoppers. Additionally, we agree that the store can be reconfigured, however, in an alternative way in order to increase foot traffic throughout the store instead of just the front section as suggested by the addition of Group B's corner market. As for the marketing strategy, we definitely agree it needs to be changed, but we believe that this should be done by increasing community involvement rather than just focusing on the senior citizens. Some ways that this can be approached are expanding our prepared food section by partnering with local cafes in the Columbus region who can create made-to-order food services for our consumers. This can increase our new customer base by bringing in new clientele who are already familiar with these local cafes. Lastly, we would like to roll out a two-tiered membership program, which can increase our customer loyalty. For Reed Supermarkets, we agree that they should stay the course and remain in the high-end segment. One of Reed's high-end competitors is Galaxy, who is rumored to pull out of the market. This gives Reed's the opportunity to take their customers and grow their client base even more. Reed's is in a great position to do this compared to their other competitors due to its 25 convenient locations in the Columbus region, the most locations of all the high-end supermarkets in the area. As mentioned previously, Reed's is known for their exceptional and attentive customer service, and we believe this should remain the case going forward. For this reason, we believe that Reed should focus on customer service rather than convenience in order to keep in line with the high-end image that we would like to remain in. However, REITs can still remain a high-end supermarket that still provides great quality products, but can offer amazing discounts for their customers. We plan to accomplish this with a revamped discount special program called REITs Midweek Markdowns, only the price we discount. Our new discount program will provide 20% off discounts Tuesdays through Thursdays on REITs private label brands. The items that will be discounted are ones that are usually purchased by the fill-in shoppers. We plan to rotate the items that are discounted each week in order to provide a variety of sales to our customers. This rotation strategy will allow REITs to drive sales on their low selling products and increase demand for new products. It will also allow REITs to include seasonal products such as pumpkin for fall in order to bring these customers in. We will also incorporate a price match guarantee on these items. Any item that is discounted at 20% off during that specific week is eligible for this price match guarantee. This will allow customers to avoid that dollar store trip and stay in Reeds for their fill-in items or come into Reeds for those fill-in items. We believe that, new, that this new revamped discount program will be a great addition to Reeds Supermarket in order to appeal to those shoppers who are going to the dollar store and to increase our private label brand. In terms of the strategic store layout, we agree with a lot of what Groupie suggested. However, they emphasized quality and convenience. And so with their corner market and self checkout aisles, they're stressing the efficiency of the store. But 
our group decided that we don't necessarily want to focus on customers being more efficient, but rather we want customers to spend as much time in the store as possible and to enjoy themselves while they're there. So building on our gorgeous displays that we already have, um, we wanted to utilize a rotating popular cafe such as a local barbecue joint which would increase the customer experience and um, Reed's private labels would be used by the cafes. So this would aid in the community buy-in by supporting these local businesses and providing a familiarity and standing in the community, um, which would potentially lead to Reed becoming the shop's main supplier. Um, it would increase foot traffic and keep customers in the store, which is the key that we're looking for. Um, we agree with Group B's analysis, uh, their idea on uh, providing specialty beer and wine selection with rotating local beers. Uh, among them, we wanted to include Mountain Man Brewing Company. Uh, we do disagree with the self-checkout idea. Again, we want to focus on the customer experience in the store, so part of this is our customer service. Uh, going to gro grocery shop at Reed should not feel like a chore. And so our highly trained customer service employees will continue to go above and beyond to keep the checkout process enjoyable and to increase customer interaction and satisfaction. So this goes along with our goal of prom promoting a community feel. So similar to Group B, we do have a Reads Rewards membership program. Um, it uses a membership card uh, to receive the benefits and the program will increase the community buy-in. Um, it will keep current customers and expand to new customers. So every time someone goes up to the cashier, the cashier will ask for their email um, and sign them up for the program if they want to be um, signed up. So again, it will keep our current customers and expand to new customers. So. Our tier one, the silver rewards, is similar to what group B is suggesting. It's a great plan to increase foot traffic and the community feel that we're striving for. Um, and so it will include discounts during the week on private label items, points, money back, and coupons. Um, and so customers will receive notifications via email of different sponsored events, weekly discounts, rotating specials, um, who the local cafe will be that that during that term, uh, et cetera. And then the tier two, the gold rewards, is an automatic upgrade grade determined by the amount of spending that the customer does during that term. So biannually, uh, targets need to be met in order to remain in that tier. So that tier includes all of the silver rewards benefits, uh, but also it, it includes an expanded food selection at the cafe, um, week-long discounts instead of only during the week, on-site samplings of food and alcohol, and delivery or pickup options when certain purchase thresholds are met. The rewards program goes above and beyond what Group B is suggesting. Um, the customers will want to receive the added benefits of the second tier and become more loyal while increasing the quality community feel that we want our brand to display. For Reed's marketing strategy, we disagree with Group B's decision to focus on senior citizens, but we agree with their decision to pair with local adoption shelters. We would like to recommend an increase in community outreach, especially around the holidays, by providing free food to a limited amount of underprivileged individuals using seasonal on-site events that will feature Reed's private label brands and seasonal offerings, promoting our food in local cafes that are currently featured in Reed's store. So while they're promoting their food in our stores, we will promote our food in their stores. We'd also like to use Reed reps to promote Reed's pre-made foods at local fairs, festivals, and sporting events like the Columbus Summer Wine Festival and Columbus Clippers Games. Finally, we'd like to use billboards near Galaxy's location, showing how close Reed's is to everyone in the community, since they are not projecting very well and we have a high number of stores in the Columbus market. And here we have a financial summary of our plan to gain 2% market share and increase sales 95 million. And we agree with Group B that we will have to increase sales this amount to get that amount of market share. 
In the chart below, we have a breakdown of our five different ways of increasing sales in a likely case scenario and a best case scenario sales increase estimate. For the revamped discount and loyalty program, the likely increase would be about 10 million and the best case scenario would be about 20 million. And this would be by, this would be done by eliminating dollar specials using midweek discounts and a more robust loyalty program. For our plan to increase private labels, the likely increase would be about 20 million and the best case scenario would be about 26 million. This would represent a three to four percent increase in sales. For our plan to increase local outreach and utilize local cafes and read stores, the likely increase in sales would be about 19 million and the best case scenario would be about 38 million. This would be done by capturing non-customers who value community outreach. And in our plan to focus on customer service, the likely increase would be about 38 million and the best case scenario would be about 57 million. This would be done by capturing non-customers who value friendly and helpful employees. And finally, in our plan to pick up Galaxy customers since they are not projecting well, the most likely increase would be about seven and a half million and the best case scenario would be almost 160 million if they ended up closing all of their stores. In conclusion, we think REED should focus on quality, customer service, and targeting the dollar store and fill-in segment, as opposed to focusing on convenience and targeting the elderly population. We can do this by focusing on midweek discounts and rotating specials with a base of fill-in items remaining constant, expanding upon Group B's proposed loyalty program to gain new customers and retain existing customers, and this can be done by using a two-tiered approach by adding to Reed's selection of pre-made food by utilizing popular local spots in Reed's Cafe. And again, when they're featuring their food in our stores, we'll feature our food in their stores. And this will be on a rotating basis so we can reach a wide variety of new customers. And finally, by expanding marketing to encompass more community involvement. As discussed earlier, the plan to feature Reed's grab and go foods at events like the wine festival and minor league baseball games and to help underprivileged individuals during the holidays. Thank you very much for watching.